to this video about joining dual carriageways. So we're going to use the A666, uh, the Farmer Bypass, some people would call it St Peter's Way. And we're on uh, Manchester Road at Moses Gate and we're joining by this very short slip road. Now the speed limit where I am now is 30, it goes up to 50 at this point. And I need to build my speed up fairly quickly because it's a short slip road. I'm using the right hand mirror here and I'm going to do a quick sideways glance and I'm going to slot in behind this box all course and cancel my signal once I'm joined. Very important that once you're on that you keep a safe distance from the vehicle in front and on a wet day like today we need to keep four seconds behind the car in front. this next exit, so I give a signal well before I'm there. I'm going to exit directly into the right hand lane because I'm turning right at the end of the slip road. Cancel my signal once I'm on. Check the mirrors, give a signal at the end. Come to a nice gentle stop with two hands on the wheel. Secure my car. We're going, to, we're going to go back onto the dual carriageway in a moment. I'll come off, I'm going to go over this bridge and then we're going to join again. We'll talk you through the importance of signalling, the importance of checking it safe to, to get on. When you join a dual carriageway, like the one we're using today, it's very much like joining a motorway. Unfortunately, this, this road isn't designed to the same standard as motorways, so the slip roads can be a little bit tricky here. Uh, the slip roads on a motorway are much longer uh, they come in alongside the main carriageway at the same angle, so it's quite easy to join the motorway. With the road light we're on here, joining can be a little bit trickier. The slip roads aren't always quite as long, and the slip roads don't always come in at a nice angle. We go left here. We go down the hill on the opposite side of this dual carriageway. Now this, this road goes underneath and then we've got an entry slip road to join again. At the moment the speed limit is 30, we're going just under that. At this point I enter the slip road, there should really be a one way sign here. So I'm in third gear which is quite a good gear, I'm on, a, on quite an incline here. There's the change of speed limit, so I'm going to increase my speed this is a nice long slip road. You must never cross where the solid line is. I've got my right indicator on. A quick sideways glance, use the mirrors, join the carriageway, cancel signal, we're directly into fifth gear. So that's joining the slip road there. I'm going to come off again at the next exit, so I'll get my left signal on. Again, I'm going to be going right at the end of the slip road. I'll tell the vehicle in front cancelled their signal just as they cross the line, which is the correct way to use your signals when you're leaving a dual carriageway. So I'm coming up to this queue, the lights have just gone to green. There's a possibility that I'll not need to stop. Select second gear for this. So I'm actually going to do a little bit like a U-turn here. I'm going to turn right and then I'm going to turn right again and get back onto the slip road for joining the dual carriageway again. So I need to take a tight turn here into the lane for turning right. Get my right signal on. The lights have gone to green, but the oncoming traffic's coming as well, so I need to wait my turn. It's not such a nice day today. I'm not going to make it around there. I've got at least two oncoming vehicles come through. I'm going to put my headlights on. Quite often my headlights come on automatically when the uh, days are dull as this, but for some reason the auto system has not recognised the need for it. quite bright actually, I don't know if that's probably why. So this time the slip road's a downhill slip road, so I'm going, to off, I'm going to approach in fifth gear. I don't need the extra power, so using a higher gear is fine. I've got my indicator on. I love this slip road because it's a nice easy one. I've got a very good view because the angle's almost parallel. The driver of the vehicle that's just overtook me was in the same lane that I was in and when they saw me coming down the slip road with my right indicator on, they moved out into 
the right hand lane. I'm going to leave again at this next exit. So the sign and the sensor is not much used to give a left signal. So I'm giving the drivers behind plenty of notice. It's very important that you don't slow down at this stage so you don't hold up the flow of the road. Across the line, then I'm going to do significant amount of braking, braking because the slip road's quite short. I'm turning right at the end of the slip road, hence my position to the right. Got my indicator on, slowing right down, checking both ways. It is safe to continue. Then we're back on the traditional road, so I'm keeping to the left. Going right again at this junction. Observation's very good. Um, Quite a steep incline this that takes me back over the dual carriageway. Right, so we're going to join the dual carriageway again at uh, this next slip road. So I've got my right signal on. The speed limit here is still 30, so I need to keep my speed steady at 30 miles per hour. I'm onto the slip road now, so I can cancel my signal for that. You can see where the speed limit changes up to 50. It's quite hard to see the road markings here, but we're bordered by a solid white line either side here, so it's important to keep in position. I've got my right signal on for joining here. I'm actually going to join in third gear here because of the incline. Very important that I turn left there, do the final check of the mirrors and the sideways lights. Third gear is a very good gear for picking my speed up. So I've got up to 50 miles per hour and I'm in fifth. There's a temporary speed limit up ahead, so I'm going to drop my speed down to 40, ready for uh, Okay, so on this video, what we're going to do, we're going to we're going to join St Peter's Way at one of the uh, newest slip roads. It's not been not been built that long ago. Um, it's a tricky slip road because it's probably the shortest slip road you'll ever find. It can be quite dangerous at times. So if if you're going to approach it from this direction on your test, the examiner will have told you that you're turning left at this junction. I forgot to put my signal on at the correct time. We're talking and doing the narration for this video and they'll tell you that as you join this road this road that we're coming on to Bold Road is a dual carriageway at this point the examiner will have told you that you need to go into the right hand lane and then follow the signs from Manchester we should be on our way very soon vehicles now behind. Quick check of the mirrors when you move away and a quick look around being a defensive driver is important. Okay so on the left there you can probably see on the video uh, the sign for Manchester. I tell the driver behind that I'm going right. The lights ahead are on green. There was a short filter system there which is now extinguished. The lights are no longer on so I need to give way to oncoming traffic. With it being on green I'm going to go past the stop lines and then I need to look at the layout of this junction to my right and I need to stop my car just before the point where I would turn which is here. Okay so after these two vehicles I'm happy to go just about make it there and then we're following the signs from Manchester again if you look on the left it's saying that it's off to the right this is the slip road that takes us onto the dual carriageway it's quite busy at the moment uh, I can see the traffic light on the right hand side of the road there, we've got the filter system, the filter are always on, I can't see, I can see it's on. So here's the slip road, we've got a 50, 50 mile per hour limit, it's only about 150 metres long this slip road. Quite busy at the moment so I'm struggling to get out into the correct carriageway, now I can. You get a conflict of interest there, a lot of the vehicles coming up behind wanted to leave the carriageway to exit at this, uh, this junction here and I obviously want to get in so you got there was one ahead of me in the white car and there was one behind me all wanting to go off onto that slip road there so it can be quite a tricky slip road that one uh, we need to practice that one quite often okay so welcome to this part of my video we're about to go on to the A treble six dual carriageway heading up towards Manchester who's coming up shortly after the next set of lines Play fourth gear here just blowing my 
my vehicle down, the clutching lights are still red, so it's important to keep your hands on the wheel. If the lights change, you're still on the move, then you can change here. A quick check of the mirrors there, and we're on our way, building our speed up, checking what's going on around us. So there's our sign on the left, showing us that uh, the slip road's coming up for the dual carriage we're going on to. So I've got my right signal on. I'm keeping my speed down a bit more than the vehicle in front. I'm sticking to the speed limit, which is 30. The speed limit only changes when you pass the two signs coming up. Okay, you can see here, we've got a, we're bordered by a solid line on either side. So it's important here that I keep in the centre of my lane. Okay, the other thing is that you don't dive onto the carriageway like the vehicles in front did, because your view here is restricted. It's important to use the slip road, make sure it's safe. I use third gear there, and it gives me plenty of power to build my speed up once I established it was safe to join. Now I should let my speed drop a little bit because we've got this temporary 40 limit along here. Okay, I was keeping a nice distance from the driver in front, and someone chose to uh, drop into that gap. So I'm now forced to drop back a little bit because I haven't got another option of overtaking.